Welcome back to Cryptopia, where we go over the digital wild west that is NFT land. Last time we watched the absolute beat down. I mean, it was disgusting. I almost felt bad. Bro, crypto punks to the up and coming you kids on the block. Pixels Anonymous. And now, to add insult to injury, by the grace of the pixel gods, the Anon white paper has been gifted to us. I need your help. I'm listening. I need you to make an NFT go fungible, if you catch my drift. 555 warriors only bruv nfts will form the genesis collection bringing with them a tax tool utility because let's face it most of the people in this space are basically bent over with an all access sign for the irs on their butts so the pixel gods however are sending a tool that will be able to track your revenue in and out of your wallets do you like to lose money do you like paying the government to find newer ways to take your money. Are you a broke boy? The last one was rhetorical. We've seen the market. You're all broke. So the vision behind this is to be able to pull files with all the trading information from your wallet, export them in a nice, neat Excel spreadsheet for you. And now you can turn that shit over to the CPA or do it yourself and get screwed even harder. <laughs> Whatever. However it is, you file your taxes. Now, do you like staking? Well, too fucking bad. This is not going to be their main utility. All right, they'll have it. Okay, so you can stop crying on your wife's lover's big sweater that you like so much. All right, they will have their own marketplace. You can stake and they'll have their own token. That being said, the token will not be backed by a liquidity pool. They want their holders, the holders only, to have access to this marketplace and not allow external people to buy in and use their resources. So that means only the people that got in, warriors only, bruv. Did you see the last video where I explained this? 30 people. Do I really have to go on? A dog, a lion, a marsupial, and the 30 people compete for Discord. One person gets in. Warriors only, bruv. The Anon Death Duel. That is what it is called. Do you like DAOs? Well, they're not going to have one. I'm kidding. Of course they will. They will form a DAO after Mint is done. And this is what will decide the vision and the purpose of Gen 2. So, wait, you want me to kill them? No, we're not assassins. Just make them fungible. So, duplicate them? Yes. We did it to Isekai Meta. We can do it to them, too. That'll be costly, you know? And let's not forget analytical tools. This will be provided through an external source, all right? There is a partnership on the table. It's a little hush-hush. We can't talk about it right now. By the time of making this video, that's what's out there. Instead of wasting their time, money, and resources making their own tool, they believe it'd be better to conserve their resources to fully create the tax tool revenue tracker. That's the main purpose here, to save you money. So you don't have to present to the IRS every time they show up. There are so many tools out there. Simply working with another NFT that already has one, is a way better idea than wasting time and money making their own. So that's what they plan on doing. So currently, that's kind of where we're at with the project. So now we're at the part where we got to take a nasty look at things, right? Because at this point, we've seen the white paper. Now we kind of get an idea about where things are going. Now, the first thing is the plan for the future, right? Post Mint. Now, I'm not a huge fan of DAOs. I think most of y'all are stupid. Okay, I'm an idiot. I know that. So I know half of y'all are also idiots. You know who you are. But let's be serious for a second. I don't need people making dumbass decisions about where my money goes. I already live in the government. And they already do that shit. I don't, I don't need further other idiots to do that that I didn't even elect. Okay. Or had any chance of electing. But that's how they're planning on doing things with a DAO. So I'm hoping that, and I think you guys should be looking at this too, that they come with some sort of bullet points. You know what I mean? Like we want to hit up these specific things and, you know, 
vote on which way you want to go. And also we have this section where you can put in your suggestions and we can see if that is something that it will explore that if it's something good, we'll present it to the overall community. And then from there, we will take a vote and et cetera, et cetera. That's I'm hoping things will go down. That's the first thing, because a lot of projects will fail outright just because they don't have any idea what the hell they're doing on the post mint. They're like, we minted it. Now we have no idea. I've been in spaces where it's like, we don't know what to do. We lost all our momentum in the in post mint. It's because you didn't plan this out, motherfucker. They thought they were just going to live off the hype alone from the first mint. They don't work. Yo, people in this space have the shortest attention spans in the world. All right, moving on. So what are some mistakes they've done? This is something that I myself am going to have to explore and try and get it into the next video. You know, these guys, like I mentioned previously in prior video, they've been around for a while. They've met some people, so they've seen some things. And I just kind of want to know what mistakes they might have made in their prior projects or seen in prior projects for the ones that didn't make um, their own project yet, um, that they'll be trying to avoid this mint. I think that's something that people should be making sure they have um, either ask that question in the Discord, if you're in the Discord, or ask that question uh, in a space or whatever the fuck, right? Just... Have that in the back of your fucking brain because I think it's useful. Not financial advice. I just think it's useful. Um, and then the last thing that I really think we should be paying attention to is, you know, kind of what's the percentage um, that they need to reach to make this project happen? Because, you know, it can the project happen without the money, right? So one of the things I have, um, a lot of it right now, I believe, is funded by the founders purely. It's... um or at least the core, somewhere on the core team is the founders, the founders right now. So can they make this work without the, you know, without selling much, you know, what's the percentage that they need to sell out? Because that's going to be an important factor as well. You know, do they need 50%? You know what I mean? Do you see this project being able to mint out 50% in order to see anything else after it happen? So these are just things that I won't, uh, I'm looking forward to hoping getting the answers to in the future, hoping to see them, you know, address these in, in one way or another moving forward. We'll have to see, baby. We'll have to see. I'm going to make more videos, of course, keeping up to date with Pixels Anonymous. So make sure to come back, like, subscribe. If you haven't seen my first video, go check it out. That will explain to you in depth sort of what's been going on before the white paper dropped and where we're going from there. All right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all uh, next time. I'm joking. I know you have the crypto to avoid this, but people won't be happy when they find out who's behind it. Listen to me. We made black people buy Nazi shit. I don't give a fuck who finds out about this. We're Yuga Labs, bitch. Now get off your tight little Solana ass and get this shit done.